Good morning, everyone. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. How are y'all doing today? Well, we got another day here. Another day to share the word, another day to give glory, and another day to, if possible, lead somebody to Christ. Um, a lot of stuff going on around the world. We see a lot of things happening. Uh, all, the, all the watchmen are putting up videos, sharing things, uh, having dreams, all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, I was doing research last night, found all kinds of stuff. Uh, ironically, a game that I play on my phone, because I try to keep my brain occupied sometimes. It's just to kill time. Uh, I found this occult symbol in it three times. So I'll be deleting that game. But it's everywhere. It's in everything. Uh, logos, companies, everything. It's everywhere. The upper echelon of our world uh, are in league with Satan. And it's very clear that they are. And ironically, those same people are going to be with him for all of eternity, if uh, they so choose. Which is unfortunate, because they could have so much better than this life. But it's their choice. But this morning, I want to pray Psalm 27. And it's titled, An Exuberant Declaration of Faith. Father, we come before you this morning in, in praise, honor, and glory of your holy name, of our Lord Jesus Christ. We see the troubles that are abounding in this world today. We see it in people, those struggling, uh, fighting against the Holy Spirit, uh, those who just deny the Holy Spirit altogether. Uh, they've surrounded us. They attack us. We know what this is. We know where it's coming from. It's tiring, it's disappointing to see so many people take your word and just break it into pieces to try to make it something else, when all they have to do is read it and accept it. You've made it so easy, and yet man makes it so hard. We see evil abounding everywhere and in everything. It, it's, there's nowhere we can go to get away from it anymore. Even the churches have it in there. And it's just a terrible thing, but you've told us in your holy word exactly what was going to happen and exactly what's waiting for those who stick by you and who hold on to the truth and stay faithful. The remnant believer, which is what we are. Because we keep the faith. As best we can, we keep the faith. Father, this morning, I want to pray Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy upon me, also upon me, and answer me. When you said, Seek my face, my heart said to you, Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me. O God of my salvation, when my father and mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. I would have lost heart unless I believed. That I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Father, we love this. We love this word that you've given us. This, In the times before, they did it all by memory. Many of them were writing these things. And in this time now, this time after, you've strengthened us and given us a very powerful weapon to use against our adversary, this Holy Bible. Many have come against it. Many have tried to destroy it, discredit it, but it's still here. It's still true, and it's still viable. The harder man tries to fight against 
the, the more prevalent and the more proof comes out that all of this is true, that you're true and you are the one true God and you are about to change everything on this earth and we are ready, Lord. This world holds nothing for us anymore. We want to be in your presence and away from all this evil because this is not for us and we don't want to be a part of it. It is in Jesus' blessed, mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for morning prayer. That I may have prayed that one before. I don't remember. I've done so many of them now. But that one was, was relevant to what's going on now. So many times we throw prayers out there and they seem to go a long time without being answered. Or we don't see the answer. And one of the hardest things that we have to do as, as humans, our perception of time is different. We don't know what's down the road in the future, but God does. That's why he custom tailors the answer to our prayers for the appropriate time. To us, it may be, you know, far too long. Lord, why have you forgotten me? Why, why haven't you listened to me? But what he wants you to do is just to stand in faith. When he's trying to answer your prayer and you're running around all over the place, he's like, Come on, stand still so I can answer it. And we're running, looking for the answer, looking here, looking there, running all over the place, trying to find the answer. Oh, where's the answer? Where's the answer? And he's just like trying to follow us. Okay, you know what? When you stop and be quiet, then I'll answer your prayer. And until we can learn just to stop, put the brakes on and be silent. And just wait. And then when the time is right, he goes, there's your answer. And it, it's hard to do in this world. It's hard to... Stay focused because there's so many distractions. The, this game, I told you about this game, that right there is just one example. How it's meant to pull you away and get you more focused on this. And this is all tricks of Satan. He doesn't want you focused on the Holy Father. He wants you focused on other things. He doesn't want you worshiping Jesus. He wants you focused on other things. And... At some point, you have to make a decision to clean that stuff out of your life. I'm going to scrub all this stuff and stay completely focused on this. Because it's just too much, too much distraction. And now that my eyes are open, I see a lot of things in there that aren't kosher. That I need to, I personally need to get away from. The world's a dark place, but redemption is coming. All we have to do is stand and wait and be patient. Because we know no matter what happens to us, right on the other side of it, he's there. And he's waiting and he's going to protect, protect us and watch over us. I love you guys. I bless you guys in Jesus' name. And I'll see you all in the next video.